Yo, what's going on guys? Hexpedive again. Back today with another vlog. My room actually um got a little bit of waterlogged. We had some uh, pretty bad rain here in Central Illinois. And uh, well, so I haven't done too many vids. Uh, I can still play. My stuff didn't get ruined because it's sitting high, high up off the ground. It's as of some people who got three and a half feet of water. But um, anyways, something that I noticed today that I kind of wanted to talk about. I just didn't feel like going downstairs and uh, doing the vlog there. Was uh, I want to know what you guys think about the whole parasite thing? Not being able to, uh, he left TK as we all knew he would after X Games. But I was wondering what you guys thought about um. Uh, him not be able, being able to actually join a team. He can't join a team unless they played in X Games. Um, which I thought was weird. Um, I feel like he should be able to join a team no matter what. Um, I miss the end of the season. I think the end of the season is when someone's crowned champion. For example, um, just like any other sport, whether it's basketball, baseball, the season's over, you have a champion at the end. And, but they're saying the season's not over until uh, in, uh, the relegations tournament, which I think is, I mean, I understand the rule, but I don't like how the rule has been placed and or made. Um, I think that definitely needs to switch because at least the players hang it. Um, which a lot of teams, I don't think any teams really from season three, or season two I should say, want to pick up Parasite because... What he's been doing on Twitter. I mean, he wasn't going to join it. This all started because Parasite was going to join Enigma 6, by the way, guys. But obviously, that didn't work out because the rules. Which is, obviously, nobody knew of these rules, probably. Um, I don't really understand what, how, or what they're going to do to try to change this rule. If this rule is even going to be changed. Um, wow, it's 93 degrees and I'm sitting out here in a sweatshirt. But, anyways. <laughs> I just don't, I don't really know what to say, but I just thought it would be interesting to bring it up and see what you guys thought of it. Um, I don't like the rule, personally, because, like, I understand the rule, but I don't like the rule. I want to make that clear once again. Um, it just, I think it makes things more difficult, and you're taking away from a player and or, yeah, you're taking away from a player. Say, someone who, in Season 3 relegations tournament makes a good placing, you're going to end up taking that away from them. One, one of the players. Because they're going to want to say, hey, let's pick him up. He used to be a pro player. Um, which I think a lot of that team, teams who do qualify just stay together and build chemistry. But other times, I think it is appropriate for them to do that. But at the same time, it's kind of shitty for players who helped earn that earn that league spot that they got. But, I mean, I guess it is what it is. That's the rules for now. We'll find out as we uh, get, get going throughout the future of Call of Duty esports. Um, another thing is that Black Ops 2 throwback tournament is awesome. I think they should do a big one online. I think that'd be sweet. Um, and go go Big T. What what in the hell is going on with Big T right now? But maybe I'll make that another video later, guys. I'll see you guys later. Be sure to leave a like, follow, comment, subscribe, and share my videos on Twitter. And follow me on Twitter at hex25 is the handle. I'll see you guys next video. Peace.